a gay sting right here. Uh, coming back with a mining strategy video. Um, last one I did was just a few basic tips on uh, how to create a structure, survive the night type deal. Uh, what I'm going to be doing now is basically just some tips on how to start mining, start gathering resources. Um, what I usually do is, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try and find like a cave. Uh, just something like what we got over here. Um, generally, try to find iron, iron and coal. Try and find as much as I can there. It's been about 10 minutes or so. And then after that, I'll start just heading straight for the bottom. This was not the ideal space I was looking for, but there's some coal over there. So we can go grab that real quick. Oh hey, here's some more. I would say once we get about a stack of coal, um, maybe not a whole stack of iron, at least like 20 pieces of iron or so, between 20 and 30. Um, if you want to make armor, then I would say yeah, you want to get a stack of iron, but uh, I mean just to like have a decent amount of iron for tools, between 20 and 30 pieces should be cool. like coal we already have almost half a stack here's another little another little tip always use the right tool for the job so if you're mining stone or an ore you want to make sure that you're mining with the correct tool so for example pickaxe you also want to make sure that you're mining with the correct type of tool um, as far as the material it's made out of. So, for example, coal, you can mine with stone pickaxe or wooden pickaxe, but iron, uh, you cannot mine with a wooden pickaxe. It has to be a stone pick. Um, kind of going farther down into better materials, to mine redstone, gold, lapis, um, or diamonds, you have to have an iron pick. So that's when you want to make sure that you uh, are using the right tool, because you can still mine it, for example, if you find gold, you can mine it with a stone pick. It'll let you mine it. It'll take a lot longer, but um, you can break the block. But if you break it with the incorrect material, you won't be able to actually collect the block. It just disappears. So it's kind of like the same theory of me if I were to just punch this with my fist. It's taken a lot longer than it does with a pickaxe. And then when it breaks, it doesn't give me anything. It just breaks. Whereas I break it here, it gives me a block to pick up. So, kind of put that into perspective. Um, pretty much, once you get past iron, every other material uh, besides iron and coal uh, that you're going to find in lower layers, you're going to need an iron pick for. So, just want to keep that in mind. I am not feeling, uh, feeling this mountainside right now. I thought it was going to be cool, but no, it's not. Hmm. Well, I guess we could just go ahead and head for the next part. All right. So to get so my mining strategy, it's very fairly simple. Um, which don't think I'm gonna quite be able to fit this into a video for you today. At least not this video, but um, specifically for trying to find diamonds. I have two really good methods. Um, one is guaranteed diamonds every time. One is not as guaranteed, but it's still pretty effective. I would say that at least when you're trying to gather like coal and iron for the beginning, I wouldn't try and just dig straight down. I would try and find some caves, which is what we're trying to do now. Just because uh, 
when you just dig straight down, your chances of finding like a lot of coal or iron is a lot less than if you find a cave and start kind of exploring that cave. Which in the beginning, you really need to find, like you're gonna need a good amount of stuff. And if you just try and dig straight down for all of that, you're gonna get bored really fast. You're gonna get to the bottom, and then you're gonna find things like redstone and gold and diamonds, and you're not gonna be able to mine any of it because you're not gonna have any fucking <laughs> any iron. So, hopefully we'll have some better ones over here. I didn't bring my bed with me. Oh, hey, look. See, here we go. Here's some iron. Ooh, that's a lot of iron. One thing you want to make sure... Once you start digging straight down, well, once you start digging down, you don't want to dig straight down. Because I could just dig straight down, and we'll just test it real quick and see if I get lucky. I'm at layer 57. Generally, when you try and dig straight down, you end up falling into a huge hole, or you end up falling into lava. Something happens, you end up becoming very unlucky, you fall into something and die. Um, but sometimes you get lucky, and you can make it all the way to the bottom without falling into lava. Look at that. If I had been a few more blocks forward, I would have just straightened to lava. But I have found a cave, so I'm going to find more materials here. I really don't want to walk into that, and I feel like I'm going to, so I'm just going to... No, oh my gosh. I still want the light. I just don't want... Yeah, there we go. And I hear a skeleton near me somewhere. But I don't know where. Also, here's a really good tip for when you're mining. Um, let me just get some more torches here. Okay, so here's where I came out. I'm going to mark this with not only a stone or a, a torch, but I'm actually going to mark it with cobblestone. Because there's no other cobblestone anywhere. Now, when you're exploring mines, I have a very simple way to not get lost that is very effective. Because a lot of times, you know, there's tons and tons of different ways um, for you to go, you know, you can split up in like 10 different ways, um, like pretty quick, and you'll get really confused trying to loop around. What I do is from wherever I'm starting, within sight of this, of it, at least of my starting points torch, like as, as long as I can see the light. I'll, as I'm posting torches up, you just want to make sure that you put them on the right hand side of the wall. So if you, as you're going deeper and deeper into the mine, always put your torches on only the right side, you then know if you are going deeper into the mine or if you are coming out of the mine. Because if you have them all on the right, see I've reached a dead end. See now my torches are going to only be on the left as I'm exiting the mine this way. So you can always know if my torches are on the right, I'm going deeper. If my torches are on the left, I am coming out. I still don't have any iron ingots, I only have iron ore, so I'm going to create a crafting table, pop this down, make a f uh, furnace. Now, one piece of coal smelts eight blocks. I have a total of 15 blocks here. Two pieces of coal is 16 blocks that would be smelted, so I'm losing one block that could be smelted, but it, it's not too bad. Skeleton here. Here's a zombie, but don't know where it is. Okay. Oh, I missed some iron. Okay, so I found some iron that I totally overlooked previously. So, what I can do is I can just grab this iron and go pop it in that furnace so that I get my money's worth out of that coal. There we go. Now I've got I've got five pieces of uh, iron there, so I'm gonna make an iron pickaxe, and then 
get another third piece. There we go. I have two iron picks now. All right. So now from here, I'm going to go ahead and wait. I'm at layer 42. So when you're mining, layer 42 is going to have... Okay. You want to dig down until you get to layer 12. That is specifically to try and locate diamonds. Now, I am going to go ahead and I'm just going to venture a little bit more through this cave here. Because you might find some cool stuff. You never know. Or it might just take you deeper down and you don't have to dig. Uh, we'll see. I've come to an end. We're at 35. So I'll just dig down. So 34, 33. Kind of a stair format here. Trying to prevent uh, it being like super, super close together and tight, trying to come back up. Mine, mining gravel. I want to make sure you switch to your shovel. some iron here. Also, if you haven't noticed, if you are a beginner, gravel falls. So if you mine the bottom part of gravel, the rest of it will come falling down on top of you. So that would be an example of where you want to make sure that you don't stand underneath it and dig the last block because it'll, it'll fall on you and it'll hurt you. out of there. It's starting to get a little dark so I'm going to pop a torch down and just keep going until I get to layer 12. 24. Ooh, lots of iron. Nineteen, eighteen. So this is layer eighteen. So this is seventeen, sixteen, fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, and twelve. Now the reason we want to dig specifically to layer twelve is because your caves almost always when you find a cave. Lava does not usually go above layer 12, so usually at layer 12 when you're digging, you'll be right at the lava. So chances of you, you know, being down a block and then let's say you don't know what's there and you dig here first, it starts coming after you. So just to try and avoid that, basically. Now, a couple things here when it comes to lava. One, obviously you don't want to fall in. Uh, two, when you find lava, that usually means there are diamonds nearby. Now, that's not always. Um, it's kind of a good rule to have. Um, I usually, I just try and dig around the outline of the lava just to, like, see how big it is, if it leads to another opening, um, which it looks like that kind of goes to a dead end on that side. But this side... It does come out over here, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to dig from here. Okay, no, I'm not. Just to kind of take a peek at what is really around it. Put some cobble down there. And it really doesn't look like there's, there's much over there except that iron. But I don't want to try and get it, because I'll probably end up dying. <laughs> Okay, just pop some blocks down. If you can't pop any more blocks down, what I do is I get right up on it, and then I just move back a teensy bit, mine it, and usually pick it up. And voila. So now that we've got a... Uh, 
lots of uh, iron there. We are ready to start making bigger tools, or better tools, really, and uh, start trying to find diamond. But I think we're running out of time, so that's going to be it for this video. And I will post up another one specifically on how to find diamonds. But uh, until then, I guess I will let y'all go. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like the video. Make sure to subscribe. I'm going to be posting out videos at least twice, twice a week. I uh, haven't really figured out which days, but definitely stay tuned. I'll have a lot more videos coming your way.